Hey everybody, Charles from HumbleMechanic.com. Today, we're gonna talk about five ways to stay safe at the gas pump. Filling our vehicles with fuel is a vital part of driving a car. In fact, about 40% of people put fuel in their car once a week. And there can actually be a lot of dangers that come along with putting fuel in your car. So today, I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to stay safe. Number one, don't fill your vehicle with fuel while it's running. Odds are if you leave a modern car running while you're putting fuel in it, the check engine light's gonna come on. There's emission controls in place that actually pressurize your fuel system to check for leaks. And if you take your gas cap off, you've created a giant leak. So not only do we not want these emissions controls running while we're putting fuel in our car, we don't wanna create a situation where our check engine light is gonna come on simply because we didn't shut our vehicle off. So go ahead and shut your car down before you start pumping gas. Number two, never leave the pump unattended while you're filling the car with fuel. Most fuel pumps have a lock switch where you can lock it to automatically put fuel in your car. What you don't wanna do is lock that and go inside the gas station or sit back in your car. The pump should automatically shut off when your vehicle is full of fuel, but there could be an issue with the pump, there could be an issue with your car. You'd hate to lock that, go inside, and then turn around and see gallons and gallons and gallons of fuel dumping onto the ground. Not only is that gonna be a huge spill of fuel, it's gonna get all over the side of your car, and you're probably gonna be the one responsible for paying for it. Not only all of that, but this gives someone a really good opportunity to steal your car. Number three, stay off your cell phone while pumping fuel. If you have your phone and you're doing this while you're pumping gas, you're not paying attention to what's going on. We've all seen those videos where the car comes out of nowhere, smashes into the gas pump, and causes a bunch of damage. I'd hate for you to be on your phone, not paying attention, and something crazy like that happen. So leave your phone in your pocket, leave your phone in your car, and make sure you're aware of what's going on around you while you're filling your car with fuel. Number four, only use approved fuel containers. This is not an approved fuel container. This is. Containers like this are not meant to have fuel in them. The materials that they're made of are not meant to stand up to the harsh chemical that fuel, whether it's diesel, gasoline, or kerosene, really is. And when we're filling containers like this, make sure you're not filling it too full. This is a small one gallon container, so filling this up is not a problem. But normally when I fill the big five gallon containers, I only put about four gallons in them. That makes it quite a bit easier to put it in the lawnmower, or if someone else in the house is gonna be filling the lawnmower or filling the weed eater, you wanna make sure that they're able to lift that as well. And number five, don't run your car too low on fuel. Not only is this potentially bad for the fuel pump, remember your fuel pump is cooled and lubricated by the fuel, but you can end up in a situation where you're on the side of the road. You also reduce the number of options you have when getting fuel. We wanna make sure if at all possible, we're going to a well-lit fuel station. We don't wanna to go to one of those crazy gas stations that looks like it's out of a 70s horror film, and running low on fuel really does reduce the amount of choices that we're going to have. Not only that, running out of gas is terrible. I've done that one time and it was terrible. I had to get a ride from somebody, and then my mom had to come bring me fuel, so make sure we're not running our vehicles too low on fuel so we have plenty of options when it is time to get gas. And a couple of bonus tips. Don't smoke while you're pumping fuel. Remember that fuel vapor is what's flammable. We don't wanna have an open ignition source two feet from where these vapors are. And as cool as the movies make it out to be, never, ever, ever have a gas fight while you're at the fuel station. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there. If you have any questions or comments or tips of your own, please feel free to leave that in the comments section below. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, at humblemechanic.com. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.